All right, in this video right here, I'm gonna demonstrate to you funnel building. What is a funnel, all right? I'm gonna show you what is, oh, it's gonna, hold on. What is a funnel, okay? Now this right here is something very easy. What, what is a funnel, all right? A funnel is something extremely easy that you've probably been through many and many of times. You know what it is, or you've been through it. You been a visitor or customer that have been through a funnel before, trust me. It's just a series of websites or a system designed to get consumers and frame consumers into purchasing and upselling a product and using a product. That's all a funnel is. It's basically a system, a, a system of websites put together in a, in a mathematical form to get people to sign up and buy products. And it doesn't have to be uh, websites all, all, all the time. It could be specifically clicking on the ad, going to a landing page, buy page. That's a funnel, okay? It's just a system. It's just a system to get customers to buy your products or services. How do most funnels work? Matter of fact, give me one second. All right? Make sure that you guys are gonna get the most valuable information today possible, okay? Let me show you how I'm gonna do that. Plug something up here. Get some plugs up, plug ups. On the back. And all right. Now back to the presentation. <laughs> I know that was completely off guard. I know that was completely random there. Um, just had to make sure that you guys can get the best knowledge possible. All right. So what is a funnel? It's a series of systems. It's a system where customers go through this system to purchase and buy a product. So, uh, let's say the funnel of McDonald's, right? So what is the funnel of McDonald's? Well, the funnel of McDonald's is people see the big arches. They go through, they go, they see advertisements in the first part before you get up to the, the drive window where you order and stuff through the drive through you see a big list of food first that's already being pre-advertised then they send you to another menu to advertise more food give you more options and through that system you decide what you want to get okay so in the internet business how do we create funnel what is a funnel so simple funnel could be like this an ad all right, it could be our ad on the internet going to a landing page. So a landing page where we collect information, then it could be going to our product here. Okay, so that could be a simple funnel, simple, extremely funnel, ad, landing page, product, buy page. Okay, and then I'll obviously it could be like upsell page here. If the customer don't buy the product, and it, I mean, if the customer buy the product, they can go obviously go up sales and then you have down sales. And if the customer don't buy the product, you can down sell the customer um, to something like a, a dollar trial, something. So I don't know if you guys ever noticed that you went to websites and the product will probably cost like $25, $50 or something, and you don't buy it, so they down sell you into it being like a dollar or something trial. So that's called a down sell. It's getting, you know, in case the customer's not interested in that price, still getting that customer. All right, so that's a funnel. You know, I don't, I don't want to get into the complexity of all of those numbers and, you know, upsells and down sells. I just want you to understand the front part of this. All right, missing one more thing here. Now, ads, landing page, product up sales and now sales, okay? That's a basic funnel. Now, how can you create a funnel? How can you create a funnel? And I advise all uh, marketers, affiliates, uh, people that's getting in space to design their funnel first and have a strategic plan before you're going into promoting a product or service. So, uh, what is a funnel? How to build it properly, okay? 
How to build a funnel properly is going to be extremely simple. In most case scenarios, you're always going to probably start off with your ad. All right? And you know, in some case scenarios, this could be an email um, to customers. If you already have your customer list established, this could be an email you're sending people from. And mo But I would say 80% of case scenarios or 70 70 to 80% of case scenarios are gonna be starting off with an ad, all right? And what is that ad gonna do? It's gonna attract a visitor. It's gonna attract a visitor, all right? And so you remember when I was explaining in the presentation saying, you know, traffic leads, sales, upsells, right? This is gonna be one of the easiest, most professional, um, one of the easiest, most simplest funnels anyone can get started making money online with it is starting off with an ad. I've seen businesses make upwards of, personally, I could say six figures a day. Yes, not a month, six figures a day. With the same phone I'm about to show you. I've seen people make upwards of, you know, their first 10 to $20 online with the funnel that I'm about to show you now. I've seen people build their first residual $100 a day uh, with this same funnel. So the funnel I'm about to show you is going to be extremely simple, extremely easy, extremely basic. All right. How would you start at all? At okay. At what this is, we are attracting our visitors, our customers, and stuff. We're attracting them. We're getting our clicks and stuff. And once they click on our ad, we send them to a landing page. Okay. This can be an opt-in page. Um, a page where people opt in their information. Uh, that's what kind of landing page here, what we can be sending them to. Very simple process, nothing complicated whatsoever. All right, kind of like what I showed you um, in setting up your landing pages on Instapage. So add opt-in page, or add landing page right here. And then once we send them to the landing page, we can send them to the offer. Okay, we can present them with our offer, our product, or whatever you want to call it, okay? Then let's say they buy the product and sell, so one to 2% of people buy the product here, and we upsell them into another product. So I'm just put upsell there, all right? And let's say uh, we downsell the people that didn't buy, uh, we downsell them into a trial, trial offer or something. Uh, we can down, down sell them into a dollar offer or something. But let's say the people that don't buy at all is we can retarget them, okay? So for people that didn't buy this, they're on our email list now. So people that put in their email, so people that put in their email on this page, it goes down into our Aweber or Get Response the system that's basically going to collect their emails for us, okay? So once we got them in our list, we collected their data, we got their emails, now we've got a new contact, uh, what we can then do is send them to a page called a bridge page, okay? And what is a bridge page? What's a bridge page? All right, I'm gonna explain that to you, bridge page. A bridge page, in many case scenarios and many funnels, comes right after the opt-in page before the offer, all right? But this is a winning funnel, don't get me wrong, this is a winning funnel like it is, but what we can do is, if they didn't opt in, we provide more value. Uh, like I said before, sometimes it just takes some customers more information, that's all they need, more information. So instead of emailing those people back to the offer, and trying to sell them again, let's provide value. That's all it takes sometimes, is to simplify things to visitors a little bit more easier and explain things to visitors a little bit more better. So we will send them to a bridge page. All right, once they go to the bridge page and they gave, gave a little bit more value, then we can offer them the product again, okay? And we can sell them again. Like I said, you know, uh, and once you get inside, once you start looking at the uh, sales portion, this is where, you know, the adamant and the rocket scientist types of customers isn't going to buy right up front. They're not going to buy through this. You mainly your shoppers, 
uh, it's going to be your impulse virus and your friendly is just going to be these virus right here. Um, but mainly for your adamant and your impulse, your adamant and your uh, rock scientist virus, you probably just got to provide more information to it. And it's the bridge page and then to the offer and give them the opportunity first and you know, uh, last, not first, give them the opportunity last, but provide more information on the product or service that you're advertising there. All right, so let's say they didn't opt in, they didn't buy this time. What then would we, what would we do? Well, we send them another value given content. Now, this could be another bridge page. This could be uh, more content. This could be results, okay? On these bridge pages, it could be a testimonial. It could be something that engages them. It's something that teaches them a little bit more and then we can send them to the offer on the logo right here. Again, okay, same scenario, same concept, all right? And then let's say they didn't buy it in. Let's say we email them again. So, you know, let's say that's another email. Let's say they didn't buy again. Let's say we email them again. We send them another, guess what? Bridge page. All right, we we'll send them to value again. And these bridge pages, it doesn't have to be another landing page by itself. It could be a Facebook post. It could be a YouTube comment. I mean, a YouTube video. It could be something of value. At the end of the day, if they're not buying on the front end, and again, also on this bridge page, you want to do the same thing. It's give them the opportunity to buy again. But at the end, end of this right here, what we're doing is just providing more and more value to people, content, rich, engaging content to people. And once we provide more rich, engaging, engaging content to people, then we can follow up with them on the offer. All right. So once you've done that, another great scenario of what you can do is email them again. All right. And sell. Don't be afraid to sell. All right, email the offer. Because at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to do is email them the offer. Okay? So this right here is a funnel that many and many entrepreneurs use to make six figures a year, a month, a day inside their business. Extremely, extremely simple funnel. And opt-in page offer. Oh man, they didn't buy. Well, let's send them an email. Give them more value. Send them back to the offer again, okay? Oh, they didn't buy again. Let's send them another email full of value on the card on a page called a bridge page, and send them see if they wanted that time. Oh, they didn't buy that time. Let's send them another email back to the bridge page, giving them more and more value, and see if they want it. And if someone is opening up this email right here, they'll probably buy that offer. So let's do that. So. If there's a famous internet marketer by the name of Frank Kern uh, that he created this system. I don't know if he created it, but I know he brought it to the light, this system of bringing people to the light on giving value, 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 then sell. Value, 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 then sell. All right, and what, what I mean by that is providing enough value to customers where they have no choice but to give back. Right, so in some case scenarios, when you deliver your content best, it could be product, it could be a service, it could be a a a, a, a good or whatever. You deliver it at best hands. People want to give you their money. They'll want to repay you back. They won't know how else to thank you because you over delivered inside that customer. All right, so add opt-in page offer, basic funnel, right? And we email value, value, value. And then we send them to our offer again. All right. If they're not buying after this, then we don't need them on our list. Okay. If they're not buying after this, we're not even worried about them. Why? Because they're either skeptical or they're just not going to take action on what we're showing them. Okay. So that's a simple funnel that I know most entrepreneurs, or many, many entrepreneurs, uh, use to leverage the internet to make a ton, and I mean a ton of money, all right? I literally mean a ton of money, um, leveraging the internet there, okay? 
And uh, let's see here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but add opt-in page, offer, upsell, downsell. But we're not focusing on that part. All right. So that's the front end. That's how we make sure we get customers on the front end. There. That's not even referring back to the back end. That's how we, that's how we're trying to get trip wires, you know, people to buy our initial product first. All right. Once you get the people to buy your product first, then you can further focus on the back end. All right. Another once they buy the offer, so I'm gonna just put offer on the back end of your funnel. And it's basically a system. It's the structure of your online business. So I'm gonna put offer right here. We're gonna start off with offer. Once they buy on the back end and get offered, then what you can do is upsell. Okay, you can upsell. All right. So they see our initial offer, they buy it, and then we upsell them to another offer. So like I said before. Uh, if your product is very good and you offering great upsells, then you can get one to four people to buy this. So in case if this is a, like I said before, if this was a $17 product and our upsell was $150, that means out of every four people that buys this product, it's going to buy that product. That's a lot of money we're making. Okay. So that's a, that's a pretty good <laughs> bit of change in my opinion there. Okay. So. And that's in, you know, uh, I would say, I would say in mid case scenario, you know, not worst case scenario, but not the best case scenario. So that's why I'm gonna say mid case scenario. Um, when I every four people will buy this product and buy this, maybe better, okay? Uh, offering a upsell is a great way, okay? Then once you do that, you can then off offer them a downsell if they don't. Okay, so I'm gonna say downsell. If they, if they don't decide to buy, so we can offer them a down sale here. Okay. Another thing that you can do after they brought you the or, uh, you can send the down sale. You can send them, these two people to another product called an elite or mastermind. Let's say, you know, this is something exclusive. So this could be your elite or something, okay? This is when we can upsell them onto another product. And so let's say this is $17, this is $150. Let's say this product right here was uh, $9.97, right? So we're making a lot of money on this. This is when people really want to get engaged with you, when people really want to give you more money because you over delivered all throughout this process, people will really give you more money if you have the ambition for them to give you more money here. Okay? So that's a that's the back end of your funnel. That's how a lot of your back end uh can work. And that's how I suggest a lot of people work it there. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is how what is a funnel? And how do you structure a funnel? <laughs> how do you build a funnel properly? Okay? Hope you hope you take this uh model that I explained to you, this simplest model in the world. Uh, of building an online funnel and I hope you use it. You know, I really hope you use this. Uh, okay, and I will see you guys in the next video. All right